Columbus Eagles and we always fly high. We are all American in every way. We are true to our colors, red, white, and blue. We prove it every day. P-R-I-D-E-R-E-S-P-E-C-T. We mean every word we say. We stand the test. We are the best. South Columbus, hip, hip, hooray. Good morning, Eagles. Eagles. Welcome to the Eagles Nest New Morning Show. Eagles Nest News Morning Show. <laughs> I am Miss Jenkins, the very, very proud principal of South Columbus Elementary School. And I am Ms. Griffin, the very, very blessed assistant principal of South Columbus Elementary School. And today is Monday, September 27th, 2021. And it is a little super weird being over here today because I'm been over okay, there for like that, two weeks. That <laughs> is what it is, because I'm feeling the same. I'm like, something feels right. a little off. <laughs> and that's what it is. <laughs> But what's not off is this beautiful it weather. It is beautiful. Yes. It's beautiful this morning. I Ooh. wasn't too cold. I mean, it, it And you have nice. your toes out. I do have my toes out, so that means I'm not that cold. I'm impressed. And I hope everyone enjoyed the weekend. The oh, weather yeah. was beautiful it this was. weekend. Um, so today we're getting the high up to 87 degrees. That's going to be nice. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow it's going to be... The same, about the same, 88 degrees, low 62, so a little warmer in the morning, but not too warm. I think that's still going to be very pleasant. But partly cloudy. I hope there's no rain on the horizon. Mm -mm, I don't think so. I hope I think not. it's just kind of cloudy. Because that just Getting will make it colder, weather. and we yeah. can't handle that right now. Yeah. <laughs> Our lunch choice for today from Miss Bigelow and the crew, we are having hot dogs, baked beans, fruit, milk, and as always, teachers, please get your lunch counts in by 9 a.m. so that they can prepare adequately. I just realized I have not been looking at the camera. I've been looking at the other thing. I'm supposed to be looking right here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, and support our school nutrition program by buying our extras after you have your nutritious lunch. We sell ice cream, chips, and drinks. Um, and Ms. Bigelow says, have a great Monday. Yummy. Yeah. And with today's theme, it's Motivational Monday. Yes, it is. Um, oh, and it's Hispanic Heritage Month. So We're let's talk that. about our mm -hmm. Hispanic Heritage fun okay. fact. Okay. I guess it's not a really fun fact, but it kind of is. Yeah. So um, today's um, Hispanic Heritage fact is about Mario Lopez. Yes, I do like mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. This famous actor was born October 10th, 1973 in San Diego, California. He started acting at the age of 10 after being spotted at a dance competition by a talent scout. I'm sure there must be some other stuff that goes with this, so clearly I didn't bring it. Um, <laughs> what else you got? Is that it? That's it. Oh, okay. And he was on what? Saved, Saved by the by Bell? The Bell. Oh, I used to love that yeah. show. Mm -hmm. And what else? He did something else. He's on some other show. It's like a game show or a dance like a show. Like a dancing. Something. Dance something. Dance yeah. and win something or yeah. sing and win something or dress like a character and act like... He's a host of some shows. Yes, he's done really shows. well in his life. And I think he was on a talk show too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Lots of things. <laughs> Good job, Mario. <laughs> we honor you today. That's right, basically, <laughs> that part. <laughs> okay, and just this is motivational for me. So we had our PBIS walkthrough last week, and I think we did pretty well. And what came of that is that we need to make sure that we are identifying students and make sure we know who's soaring. So we have some positive office referrals that I need to share with y'all today. Mm -hmm. um, Marquez in Ms. Dr. Blaylock's room has earned um, his reading test scores, have soared. Um, he was very um, enthusiastic about reading a story so that he can make a great grade. And he did his best, and Dr. Blaylock was so proud of him for being accountable. So he has a positive office referral. And our little friend Raphael in first grade from Dr. Blaylock, who is being honest, um, that he has been using all of his integrity and honesty in the class, and his teacher is so proud of him for soaring every day and doing the right thing. So congratulations, Raphael and Marquez, for getting your positive office referrals today. And I'm motivated that our students are always soaring no matter who's watching, and we appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. So they will get called to the office today, and a phone call home, and they get some Smarties. Well, talk about the basketball game. Oh. I missed it. 
Y'all, our basketball teams were excellent. Our cheerleading squad was so impressive. Aww. If you're not subscribed to our Facebook page, please like our Facebook page. Follow us at South Columbus Eagles. Um, there's lots of pictures. Um, I don't know if I have any video, but our kids did well. Our coach, Miss Adams, I think Mr. Uh, coach Lane wasn't able to be there, but Coach Adams did a superb job of getting the kids motivated. Everybody got to play. Our cheerleaders and our cheerleading sponsors, Miss Davis and Miss Joyner were there. We had a lot of faculty support. So many parents came out and we played the first game against Allen and, you know, not to brag, but <laughs> woo, I, we look like NBA stars out there, okay? <laughs> that is so awful, but we did win, even though they weren't keeping score. That's okay. The second game was a co-ed game, and that was against uh, Davis Elementary. And clearly, J.D. Davis had a WNBA player come on for the weekend off the road to help them win. Oh, okay. This little girl was amazing. Oh, she was a great wow. player. Oh, that's awesome. And then the third game, we played against Reese Road. And again, our kids performed, and they literally just really punished those other children. It was really? great. Really? <laughs> Reese Road? Because I think... Um, they had been good before. Yeah, they, they used to have been. like a WNBA player. Yeah. But shout out to all of our kids who came out that Saturday. And we had three games, so they had to stay there yeah, all morning. That's awesome. Very, very proud of them, y'all. It was a great day. So make sure you tune in because next week we have more games. And so we'll have the schedule for that. Probably sometime this week we'll say it on the show. But I'm going to miss it again because I'll be out of town again. But I think well, I'll be there. after next week I'll be able to come. Yes. So right. looking forward Good to job, it. Eagles. All right. I don't think we have anything else. Oh, well, okay. That's it for this edition right. of the Eagles Nest News Morning Show. Y'all, please stay out there. Be safe. And remember the three W's. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and watch your distance. And as always, we are safe at <laughs> we are soaring at South Columbus. I don't know why I can't get that right. Where here I am safe, safe I am organized, organized I'm, I'm accountable, and I'm respectful. Y'all, tomorrow I will get this right. <laughs> See you tomorrow for a Tuesday tea. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.